Like it or not, the holidays are here. The West Alabama Christmas Parade is a big part of our holiday tradition in this part of the state. Becky Booker is here from the Tuscaloosa County Parks and Recreation Authority to tell us about this year's Christmas Parade. Becky, thanks so much for being with us today. It's always a pleasure to be here. Oh, well, super. It's good seeing you again. Yeah. You brought a prop, and I love props. I did, so let's go yes. ahead and play with our prop. We what are we well here? underway for planning for the Christmas Parade coming up just, you know, the first Monday in December, right after the holiday. But we are really excited to show off our, our flag for this year. And this is the flag? That's right. You know, the, the tornado that happened um, is paramount in everybody's mind this year. And so our flag was created by Anthony Bertina at the Tuscaloosa News and sponsored by Walter Energy. But it, uh, the 52 represents our, um, the, 50, the memory of the 52 people that we lost in the tornado. And the ribbon represents those that were affected. And then the rose is for everybody that helped. And, you know, everybody was touched in some manner this year. So it was just um, the thing to do and a little bit something different this year. In the 35 or 36 years that we've been doing it, we were discussing that earlier, um, a little bit something different, um, the flag. And gotcha. then also a wristband. Ah, excellent. You know, just a little peel and stick kind of thing. Is this for after the, uh, after the parade? This is while you're for, downtown? <laughs> for folks that are 16, under 16 in, in the parade. It's just uh, a little peel and stick thing. Um, cuts down on the time. You know, if you get lost from your group, you know, there's like 10,000 people out there. So, oh, yeah. And you're, Good turnout, um, even when it's bitterly cold. Even when it's cold Last and year it's was dark. Bitterly cold. Um, you know, even some of the older, uh, older teenagers wouldn't want to admit it. But, you know, you're in a dark, unfamiliar place. Right. This, you know, you can tuck it under your sleeve if you need to. But that quickly identifies, you know, your phone number. And so if you get misplaced from your group, you know, whatever name and, and phone number, if your group's name or an emergency contact. So that lets us or lets you... Um, get you back in touch with people you need to be in. Simplifies things. Simplifies you get down it. there and you get away from your group, from your float or whatever. And That's people right. Can go, well, hey, let me see your arm and then, you know. There it is. There you are. Two your simple name pieces and, of information. And, and I'm guessing this is who they would need to call about you. Not necessarily your number, but somebody else. That's correct. Ah, somebody at, at my office would know you know, could tell them, bring her here. <laughs> okay. Well, are you guys still taking entries for the parade? or The uh, entry per period is complete is over with. Ah, all right. So we're, we're in the planning stages. We've already got the line up and it's Monday, December the 5th. Wow. Tree lighting at 515 in front of the courthouse. We'll have the huge tree and then the parade starts at 630. That's what, two weeks? That's right. That's two crazy. weeks from today. Crazy, yeah. crazy. Where's this year gone? All right. Well, Becky, we are out of time. Thank you very much for being with us today. It's always a pleasure. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. The 35th or 36th <laughs> annual Christmas parade, we're still not sure, is Monday, December 5th. That we know. That's not too far away. You can find out more by calling 205-562-3220, or you can look online at tcpara.org. We'll be right back.